According to the UN report, nearly a thousand children died and two and a half thousand were wounded, one third of the overall total. That's a big jump on the previous year. The ISIL affiliated group Islamic State Khorasan province killed 209 people and injured 690. 250 people were killed in U.S. coalition led airstrikes and another 340 were injured. That's the highest number since 2009. Well, joining us now on the news hour is Danielle Bell. She is the director of the Human Rights Unit of the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan and the author of the report. She's live from Kabul. Thank you so much for being with us on Al Jazeera. So, since 2014, international forces have largely withdrawn from the battlefield in Afghanistan. Why is it that two years on, we're seeing the highest civilian casualty since the end of uh, since the start of the war. Well, since Afghan security forces assumed responsibility um, for security, there has been quite a significant amount of fighting countrywide, and Afghan security forces have been responding. As you noted, civilian casualties have increased by 3%. That's mainly because of ground engagements or ground fighting mm -hmm. in civilian populated areas. What is the leading cause of the casualties, and which side in the conflict is the most uh, responsible for these civilian casualties? Similar to trends that we reported in 2015, ground engagements remain the leading cause of civilian casualties, followed by improvised explosive devices, suicide and complex attacks, targeted killings, explosive remnants of war, and then airstrikes. Similar to last year and previous years, anti-government elements, mainly the Taliban, remain responsible for the majority of casualties, or 61 percent, where 24 um, percent of casualties were attributed to pro-government forces, mainly Afghan security forces. What about the children in all this? I see here a high number of children killed and maimed. In what circumstances? How are these children being victims of this conflict? Well, the leading cause of child casualties in Afghanistan is ground engagements followed by explosive remnants of war, which the two are correlated. So with the increase in ground fighting, there was a correlated increase in unexploded ordnance or ordnance left behind on the battlefield. And children um, pick it up, play with it, and it, it detonates. I should add that explosive remnants of war casualties increased by 66% and 86% of the victims were children. Mm. And what is your message then to, to the Afghan government and the parties involved in this country after you uh, made this report? What would you like to see happen? Parties to the conflict must take stronger more robust measures to mitigate harm on the battlefield. They have to stop making promises and ensure that the commitments that they've made are translated into reality on the battlefield. That's the only thing that has to happen to prevent civilian casualties. Danielle Bell, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Danielle Bell of the uh, United Nations uh, Human Rights uh, Assistance Mission in Afghanistan joining us there from Kabul. Thank you for your time.